Hello Survivors. A new week brings a new episode of The Garage. Today, you'll learn how good is Firestarter's catapult in combat. How do they celebrate St. Valentine's Day in the wastes? How to record the best moments of the combat right now? Why don't you see any mutants in the wastes? And many more. Buckle up, it's go time. Survivors, welcome to the second part of our epic Firestarters test drive. Last time we saw drills, flamethrowers, shotguns, and a harpoon in action. But the truly hardcore toys have been waiting for this moment. It's getting really hot. Don't forget that after the new patch, the durability and power of the crafts could have changed. For the opening act, we'll take a simpler ride with a familiar construction. We've undeservedly overlooked Chameleon Invisibility Mode, which is a perfect combination for fast and deadly craft of a new faction. This build is a beautiful example. It builds up speed rapidly, moves friskily, which means the enemy won't even have time to think of the imminent danger. The craft itself finds the foes easily thanks to the radar detection device. In the close range combat, it's driven won't hold for long. However, frontal cutters will prove to be tougher. The build has three used up points of energy out of 12, which allows additional weaponry based on your own preferences. It just so happens that the ride has two perfect free platforms in the front and on the cabin. Don't limit yourself. Install a proven combination of a harpoon and a flamethrower. Attach shotguns, machine guns, or something else. Whatever you like and trust. It's a good model with decent potential. Look for it at the exhibition under the name Schnecke Invis. And now for the big gun. It's a pretty impressive tank on walking screws, but let's pay more attention to the mechanisms on the top. Catapults. The garage viewers have already been asking about the new weapon based on the flame liquid. Back then, we already had porcupine and a similar weapon had not much sense, but why not try something next to it? So, Incinerator, a purple catapult with 1,410 points of power. It's quite demanding of energy. You'll need six points for each. It's better used paired up. That's why don't even dream of installing a couple of these babies without an additional generator. Let's compare it to porcupine. The result is identical, but in everything else, the differences are essential from the parameters to the construction. The mine layer requires half as much energy, seeds in terms of power, and provides no possibility of precise shooting. It is more in common with the wheel thrower, which we'll talk about later. It's extremely easy to use incinerator. You hold the right mouse button, calculate the trajectory, and release. Barrels fly into the delineated zone and explode, burning out your enemies and the ground. Then it goes for the reload, and the trick can be repeated up to 10 times, if you get to stay around, of course. This will happen only with the right kind of support. The team definitely needs several light and middle craft, which will sort out your enemies faster. Without the coherent teamwork, the fight will end up dismally, and not to your credit. An extra heavy version of the mine laying tank looks absolutely gorgeous. More than 10,000 power points, an Apollo generator, and 16 points of energy. Instead of screws, armored caterpillars, which are very much to the point here. A genuine military ideal. Just look at those eagles. But it's tough to build. 
If you install Fortune instead of Incinerator, you'll get this kind of a craft. The new mine layer looks way more like porcupine, but shoots not barrels, but wheels. It requires five points of energy and works good both alone and paired with other weaponry. Unlike the duo of incinerators, it can be installed on a lighter craft. What suits you best is defined strictly by experience. Well, it looks like we've analyzed all the winning combinations. Let's summarize good combos of the last couple of episodes. A harpoon and a flamethrower. Three shotguns. Drills and Cerberus plus optional invisibility. Two catapults. Mine layers paired with another weapon. We're looking forward to your own creations on the fields of the wastes. Survivors, do you smell it? There's something spilled in the air. It's the smell we've forgotten in endless fights and melees. Yes, it's love. It's St. Valentine's Day in the wastes. We'll begin with a touching story. Bonnie remembers the cross out with warmth in her heart. It's a catastrophe that brought her together with the love of her life. Fate itself put the gun into her weak arm while putting him behind the wheel. Who cares about the millions of those dead when it's the wind in your ears, powder fumes in your lungs, and love in your heart? And who blames them for taking what's not theirs? Robbing supply depots, killing the doomed? But happiness is not eternal and evil people started tracking down and attacking the lovers. Bonnie knew that they shouldn't split up, that only with him she's truly alive. But he wanted to save her life, and she couldn't resist. A lot of time has passed since then. Bonnie has forgotten much, but she knows for sure that he is somewhere there in the heart of the wastes waiting for her and will wait forever. The portrait of Bonnie as the symbol of high feelings is included in a special set dedicated to St. Valentine's Day. Apart from the game cash and an increased number of parts, it also includes Unique Craft Prancing Pony, AC-43 Rapier Automatic Gun, and MM-54 Vector Machine Gun. Jockey Cabin, Unique lollipop die can. An increased number of parts, up to 55. Stallion special wheels, including turning version, the quick and the dead sticker. Unique wheels outline the craft against other rides. Air suspension with the changing clearance helps the ride to work in two modes, as well as perform tricks. We've known each other for so long, Let's dance already! The set is temporary and will be available through the shop until the end of February. After that, you can only buy the components on the market with the prices set by the gamers. Also, in a special mission, The Road Romance, comprised of a series of successes fights, you can get lilac fireworks. It launches a festive rocket into the sky, which explodes in the form of a heart. Such performance will undoubtedly melt even the most cold-blooded ones, and will also increase the reputation, if only for a bit. Love and harmony to you survivors, don't forget about the most important thing, even in the toughest moments. Finally, we have two major technical updates. One is for PC users, the other one for console players. Let's talk a bit about each of them. As we mentioned earlier in the show, we're working on the replay feature. The task requires some time, and we've found a temporary solution. 
Since the end of December, Cross Out supports NVIDIA Shadow Play highlights in test mode. How does that work? If you have an NVIDIA GTX 600 video card or higher, download GeForce Experience and switch on the game overlapping mode. There, in settings, select best moments, then automatic video and screenshots recording. It goes without saying, you have to make sure that the latest driver version is installed and the game is launched in DirectX 11 support mode. After that, right in Crossout, in Graphics section, select Corresponding option in Best Moments Record Bar. The program will automatically record interesting moments of your fights, including destroying the crafts, leviathans, raiders, killing several enemies at once, and the end of the fight. Upon returning to the garage, you can watch the videos and save in the destination folder. But if you close the game right in the middle of the battle, all unsaved clips will be deleted. We're sure that this function helps not lose in memorable moments for your friends and YouTube subscribers. Also, it'll be easy for you to take part in Cross Out Show, which is out on this channel as well. As for the console gamers, we have some good news as well. With the newest patches, the Firestarters faction will arrive in full glory on both PS4 and Xbox One. We're glad that all our players are now able to become familiar with these deadly guys. will Cerberus perform in races? The cabin is built in weaponry and this mode excludes using weapons. It's easy. Weapons built in Cerberus won't deal any damage. Dear Devs, will you add a sequel faction for the mechanics? There are no such plans at this moment. When you invite a friend into a group, you often miss the bar and blacklist them. Please make some space between the buttons. We'll take this into account when we rework the interface next time. Is there any chance for Khan to personally appear in any event or melee? We don't rule that out, but he's not yet ready for that. Why are there still no mutants in the waste? It's not enough time for the virus effects to get that far. Well, that's it for today, survivors. Fight, train, design, and trade. See you in a week right here in the garage. Tell your friends about the show if you like it, and leave your comments. We're always ready to hear you out. Be seeing ya.